welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I wanna thank you guys for joining me on another shave. Quickly get to this before I forget. If you watched my last video, I have now been on YouTube for one year. And for one year, I wanted to give away something nice, something big as a thank you to all my uh, subscribers. So I'm giving away the Skull Bowl. The Skull Bowl from Dark Sanctum. 3D printed, check it out. It's actually pretty light for how big it is. Um, yeah, I'll ship it out to anywhere in the world. I have, I have a couple people from Europe and a couple people from Canada. Um, you know, so it doesn't matter where you're from, I'll ship it out. Um, all you gotta do is comment, I'm in. And if you did it last video, don't worry. This is just for new people who have missed it. So comment, I'm in, one entry per person. All right, so let's do that. I did get in, I did get in contact with Smiles and he is gonna give away, be giving away a brush. Uh, he's donating a brush to me to give away to my fellow subscribers. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. And um, that'll be a separate giveaway. I just got, you know, I want the focus on this bowl for this giveaway and then the focus on the awesome smile brush as soon as I get it. Um, we'll be doing that giveaway maybe sometime next week. All right, so um, keep looking forward. This is my thank you to you guys for being my subscribers and a little celebration for me being on YouTube in one year. For the razor, if you saw the unboxing, I finally got my last custom razor that was on order this one took a while to get it's like three months or something it was it was i know i i had already put the order for this one before i got the her razors in the eerie um and this is a behemoth this is the biggest razor i have this is a 13 8 13 8 half hollow spanish point and just polished and check out those dragon i believe he calls them dragon scales for that file work that monkey tail that makes it look aggressive we'll just call this the demon tail i don't know dragon tail and these beautiful red power scales look at those things absolutely gorgeous and he does Kim does put his signature on the blades. It's very faint and it's hard to see it because of the reflections, but there it is. This is Kim Mathis. Be tagged down below, check them out. And for today's uh, brush, I'm gonna be using the red and black dark sanctum with the red tip smiles knot. And there's the coin right there. The bowl, Soldus Creations. It's a resin wood um bowl <laughs> and i got that lather all lathered up in there for the soap it's gonna be my first time using shrike gold shade and i know i'm late to this one this was released last year last summertime i remember it was blowing up huge everybody was excited about this one and it made a lot of people's last year's best sense of the year. I'm late to the party, but I finally got it. So Honest Abe Shrike Gold, ah, there it is. I scooped out some, and this is a fabulous scent. It's a medium scent strength, comes in about, I give it about a six, but it is beautiful. It is like a clean, dark citrus, a little darker, undertones for the citrus and maybe the patchouli does that. I know it does have um, citrus notes in it, ah, but it's nice. It's really good. I do my best to try to pres prescribe, to try to describe scents to you. I don't have the keenest nose for that. And here is the matching splash. It smells so good. I had to get the splash. I'm gonna use a little bit of it. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see, you know how I do. I like to read what the site says. So it says light up your 4th of July. Shrike Gold's Honest Abe Special Edition Soap and Aftershave. Their new updated Patriot base will leave your face feeling like a million bucks. Scent inspired by ultra zest, fresh notes of tangerine, blood orange, float over a rich accord of patchouli, coffee, spices, vanilla. Hints of ginger and mint develop as the scent dries down. So I definitely get that patchouli and those citrus notes. Um, and there is, I guess, coffee and spices. I get the spices, but I don't get the coffee. But it just, it smells absolutely great. All right, so let me uh, take off this new shirt. Don't want to get louder, I'll be right All right, I'm back guys. And I got another razor for comparison to show you the size. So this is my 10 8 
Max Sprecher Purple Pala. That those natural shells, man, they just are absolutely gorgeous. And those are my favorite scales of all shirt razors, okay? But this is a 10-8. Look, and this one makes it already look a lot smaller, okay? So here we go. I haven't compared, I compared it on the unboxing to a 6 8 and a 3 8 but 10 8 13 8 and you can just see how much bigger this blade is already. Look at that tip, dude. All right, so monster. This is, people consider this a monster blade. This is a monster blade. So I just wanted to pull that out for comparison. Let me put this one away. You know, I won't go any bigger than this. <laughs> Had to have at least one 13 in the collection, you know, for shaving, home defense, chopping wood, everything. <laughs> All right, so let me wet the face. We're about like six, seven minutes in and haven't even begun. Like I said, this is my first time using I'm not gonna use, didn't use pre-shave today. Wanted to see, just uh, since this is my first time, just wanted to test out this soap. Uh, smells fantastic guys, fantastic. I'm gonna keep painting on, keep painting on. Get a nice coat going. This lather is super glossy, super glossy. All right, there we go. Make sure you have enough for the second pass. All right, and let me make some lines here. So, and this is clean it up a bit. All right. Here we go. Am I stalling? <laughs> All right, here we go. The Slayer, the first use, the maiden voyage, taking my time. The balance on it is good. I don't feel it being off. Ooh, ow, <laughs> I pinched my finger. A little, little guys. All right, here we go. Okay, I gotta get used to that tip. I just feel like it's catching a little bit. So. Um, let's switch to the other hand. Don't wanna go out of order here, out of routine and uh, get myself, especially with the new blade. Here we go. Okay, so that tip does kind of catch a little bit. I gotta be very cautious of that. It's, um, it did have a little hook. Which 
she warned me about. So as much as I want that really aggressive point, I might have to get that muted. We'll see. Have it? Well, I did get myself. I spoke to you sounds like I haven't got myself. So it's fine. It shapes fine. I'm able to control it until I want to focus on using the front tip. And that's where I noticed it um, over here at first. See, oh, I did get myself. So I am going to have to mute that tip because of that, that snag right there. You see that it's, uh, it's catching me. So that's a bummer. Oh, well, it is what it is, right? So I can still use this for the shave. I'm gonna to attempt to finish it. I just gotta be careful to not use the toe of it. If I put pressure, if I focus on using the toe, that's when that tip's catching me. So um, I'll have to touch up my sideburns with another razor. And uh, let's go into second pass. little bummer, but yes, it is what it is. Gonna have to send this to the captain to fix it for me, but she is uh, putting new edges for me on the, my her razors. You'll be doing a live shave um, this Saturday. We'll be actually be doing a dual live shave on Instagram. Probably start promoting that. All right, so how am I gonna do this? All right, so I gotta focus on using only this part of the blade from here on, just to be safe. I can't do that area without not focusing on the toe. So I'm doing my best to complete the shave. I want to try to complete the shave with it. Have known there would be blood with that hook, but you know, I being stubborn like I am, wanted to try to do it. So, shave so it's really hard to not use it. <laughs> you 
I don't think I'll be able to do this side without using let's see. Okay. And right here. And under the lip. All right. So I am going to do some touch ups with a different razor to get closer to my sideburn, and I'll be right back. All right. So I'm back, and I did do a little touch up with the DE to do the sideburns. Um, yeah. So let me see. You see the blade, the edge, and at the very tip, the toe, see how it comes in and it snaggles up like a hook. So that right there, that's touching my palm. That, like if that point is, makes contact to the skin before the rest of the blade. So it, it, it hooks into the skin. If I shave doing any pressure on the front of this blade, so. I was trying to complete the rest of the shave. I, I first noticed it over here when I went on the upstroke and I felt this area grabbing. And then uh, again, when I was talking about it, I felt it over here. So I was able to complete the rest of the shave by focusing mainly on the, the middle edge and the hill. But uh, I am gonna have to send this to get fixed, unfortunately. But uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, I was warned about it. You know, it's such a big beefy blade that the spine, um, there was no more spine on the stone and you still had more of this edge because the edge is so aggressive. And so the tip, it, so that's what caused the geometry to come off on it. Um, little, little cuts, nothing bad. Um, little weeper that's bleeding over there, but yeah, not too bad. Just, you know, you always got to keep in mind when you're straight razor shaving, light touch. Light touch is when you're going and the stretching of the skin is what helps as well. But just that light touch is what was able to get me through the shave. Um, the edge, yeah, not bad, not bad. I was able to cut through everything. Um, all in all, yeah, I'm still, I'm pleased even with the some of the issues, but I'm still pleased, you know, and I'm, I, uh, I, I caused Kim to um, to uh, come out of his comfort zone and challenge him on creating this big beast because uh, it was his first time making a blade this big, so he's in a, he you know he had to figure things out. And if anybody else, if he makes more in the future. I'm sure he'll master it and figure out the complications that he experienced when creating mine. Man, this is great. Ow, oh, this, this splash. Man, oh, I get that patchouli and that blast of the tangerine and that blood orange spice as it does. Now I do get at the very end, like a little palate cleanse of that coffee ah, man it is nice it is nice this is an absolute banger of a set all right it's a long video guys thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you guys next shave